thing one tonight, you may remember former Texas Congressman Blake Farenthold from this infamous image taken back in 2009 of then candidate at a pajama party in a ducky print onesie. Or you may remember him from this fairly disastrous 2016 appearance on this very show. If a tape came out with Donald Trump saying that, saying, I really like to rape women, you would continue to endorse him. I, again, it would, I, I, that would be bad. And I would have to consider, I'd, I'd consider it. Will be bad. Or you may remember Mr. Farenthold from the most recent time he made headlines just last month when he resigned. Just as the House Ethics Committee was about to rule against him in a sexual harassment case. Well, our old friend Blake Farenthold is back in the news today. It's actually good news for him. He's got a new job. Lobbying for a port in his home state of Texas, a port that got over $2 million in federal money a couple years ago, thanks to Farenthold. And he's going to be pretty well compensated, reportedly making $160,000 a year. That's more good news for Mr. Farenthold because he has some outstanding debts, namely $84,000 of public money used to settle a sexual harassment case against the former congressman, which he promised to pay back. Well, you'll never guess what Farenthold had to say about that promise today. That's thing two in 60 seconds. Now, former Congressman Blake Farenthold made a big promise to taxpayers last year. He pledged he would pay back every penny of the $84,000 of federal funds he spent on settling a sexual harassment suit. I'm doing my best and I'm going to hand a check uh, over this week uh, to, uh, to probably Speaker Ryan or somebody and say, look, here's the amount of my settlement. Give it back to the taxpayers. Well, that would have been really nice if he had done that or if he'd taken the suggestion by Texas Governor Greg Abbott to give the $84,000 to the state to cover the cost of the special election to fill his seat. But it's been six months. He hasn't done that either. And so if you're out there holding your breath for a check from Congressman Ducky Jams, let it go. Today, he told ABC, quote, I have been advised by my attorneys not to repay that. <laughs> Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.